What's up, y'all? Chuck Nunface here. So, as you see on the table, uh, another Medford Slim Midi. I was not going to do a video on this knife here um, because I just did my Monkey Edge Frag Pattern one not long ago. Um, and it really would be kind of redundant, even though this is a little bit different. This is a S90V DLT exclusive. But I actually ended up getting this to replace the... Um, the Monkey Edge exclusive because S90V is just one of my favorite steels, uh, one of my favorite sta stainless steels certainly, and really one of my favorite overall steels. And so when these were announced, I went ahead and sold the frag pattern as much as I liked it. I love the frag scales, but um, S90V better than S35VN. Uh, so I decided to get this one and this knife right here really is a perfect uh, candidate. The Slim Mitty is a perfect candidate for uh, S90V with its uh, all the edge retention qualities that it has. Um, so in any case, uh, getting to the point of the video, skiff bearings. Never put them in anything. Um, gonna go ahead and swap the bearings out on this. Uh, they're fine. There's really nothing wrong with them. Um, they're just uh, just kind of basic stainless steel bearings, caged bearings, nothing special. Um, I saw a couple of videos doing bearing swaps on this, and um, I figured I'd give Skiff a try. Everybody's always talking about my Skiff bearings, my Skiff bearings. Um, and so, having never tried them before, I figured I'd give them a shot in this. Um, hopefully, I got the right size. I think I did. Um, so, we'll just kind of open it up and see what it's about. Now, to be honest, I'm really not expecting, you know, a huge performance jump or anything like that um, but I am kind of curious you know just to see if changing out the bearings does anything meaningful because I mean the bearings in this they're they're fine they're just they're very basic stainless steel kind of kind of cheap caged bearings nothing nothing that special about them at all so I'm just a little curious to see you know, if there's any difference in smoothness, why does this screw not want to come out? There we go. I have to do this screw from that side for whatever reason. It doesn't want to really come out. I guess the Loctite is kind of stronger on that side, but it's no big deal. Um, I did cheat a little bit and, and kind of loosened up the screws off camera just so if there was an issue, you wouldn't be subjected to watching me fiddle around with everything. Keep it kind of simple. Yeah, I was really excited to uh, to pick this up. So, I mean, DLT's got the exclusive deal with uh, with Medford. Um, when it comes to S90V, and so they do a few different models, and they have done a few different models. In fact, my first ever uh, Medford was a S90V Praetorian Tanto. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, and so this is kind of a another foray into that. Um, so yeah, you know what? Give me one sec, I am going to be right back. All right, we're back. Um, I forgot to get a paper towel. Gotta clean out some of the lube that I had in there before. Not gonna go all crazy and do a deep cleaning on this. I mean, it really doesn't need it. I've, I've already kind of taken it apart once, but Quick little wipe down. So yeah, I was pretty happy to get this in S90V. As I said, this this knife right here, I think, is a really great platform for uh, for S90V. You know, very high edge retention steel. Um, I mean, really, my my favorite stainless. Um, I mean, I think it's a perfect EDC steel. I mean, if you've got a if you've got a halfway decent set of sharpening stones and you can definitely handle S90V. Um, so here are the new skiff bearings and here is the old stock bearings that came with it. So, I mean, they're not bad, they're, they're fine, but these are definitely, you can tell, they're gonna be a better, um, you know, these are just kind of molded metal, you know, forming the cage and these are more press fit uh, into the actual, um, housing for the bearings. So I think those are going to be a little bit better. I think we're going to want to do it like that. 
Well, it definitely fits. So it's the 316th. This is the 316th inch pivot, 116th inch balls, 11 per bearing. The inner diameter is 0.189. The outer diameter is 0.37 and 5 50 thousandths thick. So those are the ones from the skiff. So that's what they said are the ones to use. I'm just gonna, actually, that's probably, man, that's probably a lot. That lube just kind of came right out. That is more than I need. Let's see if I can get some of that cleaned up. Definitely more than I need. That's a huge problem. People over lube their knives. They really don't need to put in that much. Whatever you think you need to put in, go ahead and dial it back, Chief. You don't need to use that much on your stuff. So it looks like they're pretty much doesn't matter which side you put in from the looks of it. Somebody jump in the comments if you see me doing something wrong, but I don't think I am. So that's it right there. Go ahead and just put it back together. I'm not gonna belabor this and turn this video into something it's not. Let's go ahead and get it put back in. Uh, over tighten it just to adjust enough get this one in Use that still haven't found my t8 for my weha so i'm just kind of using my leatherman Get in there. There we go. This is not the best tool for the job, but oh, is it lined up? Should be lined up. This is what I wanted to kind of avoid me fiddling around with stuff on camera. Why doesn't this want to go in? I don't want to cross thread it, so let me try this one. Hmm. Having issues. Maybe I got that too tight. Why don't you want to go back together? Yeah, I probably just had it too tight. Couldn't catch the thread. I had to pivot too tight. So that one is there. I got it too tight. Seems good. And I'm not expecting it, like I say, a huge jump in performance here. I'm just trying to see if it's gonna feel noticeably smoother. Now, one thing that I did notice, if you take out the LBS on these, or at least on this one in particular, it gets, the action improves quite a bit and it'll actually, you know, even drop shut. Um, that doesn't really concern me, but I may end up taking the LBS out as long as it's still got enough tension. Um, so the blade isn't, you know, opening up accidentally or anything like that. Um, that might be something I do in the future. I don't know. So impressions, I've got to kind of play with it a little bit. It does feel a little bit smoother, but I wouldn't say um, it's a huge improvement. 
but you know, the knife's not broken in yet or anything else. And so I figured if I was gonna try something like this and, and put in the skiff bearings, I'd do it before it breaks in, you know, with the old ones and let it break in with the, with the skiff. So I don't know, check out my Instagram. I'll go ahead and uh, kind of do some updates there. Um, give me a follow there while you're at it, uh, at Chuck underscore Nunface. Go ahead and click that little subscribe button right in the corner there. Uh, turn on your alerts. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Um, let me know what you think about the the S90V exclusive Medford Slim Mini or your experience with skiff bearings um, in general. And uh, thanks for checking it out.